So there are two types of bone in the human body. The first one's called compact bone or dense bone. Compact bone is found in the diaphysis or the shaft, okay? And compact bone is made up of osteons. And these osteons, like I mentioned to you before, are long cylindrical structures that run the length of the diaphysis. Because they're made up of osteons and osteons run the entire length of the diaphysis, compact bone right, is good at withstanding compression forces or forces in this direction. Compact bone is not good at withstanding forces in this direction. So the second type of bone is called spongy bone. Spongy bone is also known as cancellous bone. That's the actual name, but I'll never call it cancellous bone. Spongy bone like, makes a little more sense because it looks like a sponge. Spongy bone is very light. It's very porous. In other words, it has a lot of holes. It's found in the epiphyses of long bones. Right? So here's where here's an epiphyses, and you can see that there's spongy bone located there. And it's made up of structures called trabeculae, which are bony bars and plates. So these individual structures here, right? These are the trabeculae. Some people think that because spongy bone is porous, that it's not very strong. That's actually wrong. Spongy bone is very strong, right? And the reason why it's very strong is because these trabeculae, they resemble osteons. But remember, osteons run parallel one another along the length of the shaft. Trabeculae run in all different directions, which means that spongy bone can withstand forces in all different directions.